Crunch Nation on 88.7 The Pulse. Car talk, car culture, car tips, car music, all that is car. With your hosts, Frank and Steve. All right, hang on, hang on, Frank, hang on. I got some special music. Oh, 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 look at this. Go here. A little Neil Sadaka here. Sweet, it's our sweet 16. Yeah. Oh, we got to dance, man. Oh, we're dancing. Oh. <laughs> Not really. Hey. <laughs> One foot dance. Who been, you know, ever see the MTV Sweet 16 shows they used to run like 10 years ago? Oh, yeah. Who would you have at your Sweet 16? What celebrity? Uh, mm. Lady Gaga, baby. Lady Gaga? I'd, I'd have Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah. I think I would go with, uh, what was her name? Reese Witherspoon. Lady Gaga's a nice young Jewish, you know, lady. Uh, this, yeah. Are you Jewish? I No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could do the horror. Yeah, but the, you know. Sweet... Lo- I'm honorary Jewish because I've DJed more bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs than you can ever imagine. Oh, yeah. I can only imagine yes. that. But I got to tell you something, what? man. We need to just give the big radio hugs to our listeners. We got show 16. Show 16. We haven't been canceled yet. We haven't. <laughs> we got our YouTubers. The FCC hasn't shut us down. YouTubers are hanging with us today, and we're going to introduce a new camera. I got two cameras. We're going to get like all technical up I in here. I look here and say, hi, camera. That's it. So don't, hi, don't, camera. Don't pick your nose. Have you ever seen, remember the Brady Bunch? Remember when Cindy was was doing the contest or something on on TV, and she looked in the camera and she just froze. I'm sorry, Cindy was on some stuff. I I that's my viewpoint. I was yeah, she just like froze that. like Cindy on the camera. Cindy had some stuff. Where's Cindy today anyway? I don't know. She's Susan dry. Susan Olson. She's probably driving an orange Prius. <laughs> <laughs> We're <laughs> orange smart car That's because it. we're going to talk about what car are you. There's a quiz. And of course, uh, Frank's going to put that up on wrench nation, uh, wrench nation TV and a Facebook, of course, at wrench nation and Twitter at wrench nation and everything else. We're everywhere. Wrench nation. They said you got to be there. And you know what? Quite frankly, we got some Twitter shout outs. I got a very special. It's actually, you know what? We love our family of car talk shows. So we want to give some love out. There's another car talk group out there. Teresa's garage, Teresa, Aquila. Hello, Teresa Aquila. So, big shout outs to Teresa. Go check her out on Twitter. She's also on uh, Facebook. And they're also getting out there doing a lot of educational stuff with their car talk. And I also have Mr. Matt Radman. You know, Matt was on the show talking about. Oh, that about, was the guy from Collision. Yeah. From, the, from yeah. Coach Works. You Coach know, Matt, Works, yeah. Matt's listening. A big shout out to Matt. And it doesn't stop there. Matt actually is got, there's a premiere tonight. I don't know if you want to call it a premiere, but I think people need to be aware of this. Okay. On Channel 3 tonight. Oh. Channel 3 synced up with Matt, and we, uh, that'll be airing tonight at 9 p.m. And uh, what they're essentially talking about, you go into a body shop. Now, not all. Most body shops are doing everything good to go. But just I, like anything, there's the bad body shop, the bad. I'm sure. So you thought you got a deal. Maybe, maybe the insurance was involved. And there were some shoddy repairs. Now, most people would think about the mechanics doing shoddy repairs and not so much the body shop. But again, we forget about it. You know, we right. go in here, my car, insurance pays. Well, exactly. I mean, you I've, don't, I've always don't think just about dropped it. it off at the collision center. And then when it was done, it was done. It was done. That's yep. it. So Matt Radman, Channel 3, they're doing an expose. You know, okay. expose means some people are going to get in trouble. <laughs> that's it, true. That's right. And so what they're Uh-oh. talking about is how these uh, DRPs, these direct repair program shops and insurance companies, well, they may be trying to save a buck. And Do you that... think they're in cahoots with some insurance companies? No. No. Okay. The insurance companies aren't, aren't guilty of this. Mm. But what's happened is maybe the collision center. Watch it tonight on is, Channel 3. Is charging the, the insurance company a little more than they should. Put it to you this way. Right. Right. You go into a restaurant and you wanted fresh organic broccoli. Right. You didn't get the fresh organic. No. You got the fabricated, almost like rubber. Sure. So the point is, it well, is. Well, it's like when you eat a Totino's pizza, it doesn't have real cheese like, on it. Exactly. We want real cheese. Right. It's like we I need want real cheese. A exact factory fit repair. And that's the key. So check out Matt Radman of Coachworks. He'll be on tonight at 3 TV. I want to say this, though. It's really an expose, it's an eye opener. Some people, considering the insurance would pay for, if you have insurance, the insurance would pay for the collision repair. They go, oh, I don't care. But that's a bad thing because that's going to cost on your insurance rates. Well, we're talking about, Steve-O, we're talking about a year later, you develop this clunk in the back of your vehicle. And you're like, oh, what's going on? You take it to the mechanic. Everything seems fine. But closer look reveals perhaps the improper weld or a weld that just 
came apart. Wasn't done properly. I gotta, so I got to tell you something I did once. Uh-oh. All right? You know how the auto insurance or the auto glass call, uh, companies always call you? And they oh, go, hey, it's Fred God. from the auto glass And they'll company. give you 12 free dinners. Right. Exactly. <laughs> the Burger I'll King. take the free dinners. I used to stimulate the economy, and I'd be like, oh, yeah, sure, just come replace my window. I didn't even need it. I did that. Oh. You know how that burned me? Oh, yeah. It burned me when my insurance company came up for renewal and said, we're not going to renew you with our company. Oh. You have too many claims. Oh, yeah. You got to be careful. Well, that's a whole nother I was topic. just trying to stimulate the economy. Yeah, get the dinners. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to eat from, You were like, you know, let me do stimulate the math. my belly. There's 30 days in a month. If I get two windshields yeah. per month, you know, yeah. I'm going to be eating free I, all year. Yeah, I did that. So check out Matt Radman. Matt will have Matt again on the show. And then, you know, if you suspect an issue with a recent collision repair, in other words, you went in and... You know, more than just, oh, the paint's bad. Maybe right. it sounds a certain way it didn't sound prior to the collision. Contact Johns of uh, Collision Safety Consultants of AZ.com. These are, the, these are the people that get in there with special equipment, and they find stuff. And, you know, you want to, like I said, most collision shops are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Right. But if you ever question that and you sort of want uh, an investigation as to a second opinion, if you will, uh, collision safety consultants of az.com they're doing great work uh, of course we had billy whack billy remember billy call in he called i do in remember from, the name yes and billy, billy runs the whole thing so they just opened a billy whack is whack a billy whack if you're listening you are not whack you are the chillest you <laughs> are the chillest isn't villain. whack good whack no i'm kind of whack if i no i don't know about that oh, but okay anyway check out mr matt radman on channel three it's be eye opening 9 p.m and some of the processes of collision works that Collision body work that may not be going right like it should. So, again, check out our Facebook. I'm excited to announce we were in Tucson, brother, this past weekend. What were you doing in Tucson? Well, you know, the element of Wrench Nation, we're trying to put out a travel piece. Okay. It's boot camp. It's raw. I like the travel channel. It's homemade. But what we're doing, and, and our all of our YouTubers and our people on Facebook and just our listeners, slowly but surely... You'll start to see that up once a week. And so this past weekend, we went to the old Pueblo trolley in Tucson. Oh. Dude, it was amazing. A lot. It's Very all cool. it's it's a nonprofit. It's all volunteers. And they just moved from one warehouse to another huge warehouse that now can be a museum. So they wow. can because look, it's a look, we all know. I you like know? history. I, I'm a big history buff. And they've got Love the history. old buses from the forties they were storing. Very cool. So we interviewed mechanics, we interviewed you know, board members, you know, folks that are trying to keep it connected with the community. And then you checked in at the Western La Paloma and laid by the pool. Well, not that time. It was I, the same. I would like to. It was, and, and what the heck is going on down in Casa Grande? The wind down there was ridiculous. Oh, the wind was crazy this oh, weekend. Oh, I saw a few trucks. I was like, holy cow. <laughs> yeah. like, it's like a sail on some wheels, so be careful. Unlike a tall, sexy, slender model. You don't want to be next to one big, tall truck because they get a little windy and you get in trouble. Oh, I'm telling you, when, be we, careful. when we drive, when I take those road trips with my mom around the country, oh, yeah. she freaks out about trucks. Yeah. She'll be like, you know, like always let the trucker have the right of way, which, they're, you know, they're technically big. they're the best drivers. Okay, then you bet. And then, yeah. but she'll see one like a mile and a half behind us in the rear view mirror. Yeah. Pull over. There's a Pull truck over. coming. Pull over. There's a truck like, coming. It's a mile and a half away. <laughs> this one's got 18 <laughs> wheels. Be careful. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting you mentioned trucks. Dude. Yes. We talked about autonomous cars the last, last show, which right. was, was pretty cool. Some pretty interesting stuff. But the fact is, if there is an industry right now ready to go and looking at autonomous. Oh, it would be truck drivers. Trucking industry. Trucking, yeah. So you may, you may well, that, have a, that's bad because that's unemployment line for truck drivers. And that's the segue. Will this autonomous kick us out some uh, serious unemployment? But, but you know, when you think about truck drivers, and I mean the fact that they're on the road for so long. I love truck drivers, dude. Yeah. I got a couple of clients. They're truck drivers. One of my so, students' dad is a truck driver. Sometimes they drop their car off, and I'm like, all right, listen, I want to call you like in an hour. Now I know you're over the road. I don't want to. I don't want you call me back in two weeks. <laughs> exactly. You need to call me now. You call me back right away. You know what song reminds me of a uh, truck driving? Yeah. Hold on. Let oh, me get it out. oh, I think I know what. Well, I'm going to guess I was it. Gonna, what? Go ahead. Uh, the infamous Smokey and the Bandit. I was going to say Eastbound and Down, but no. No? Which Convoy. One? Oh, yeah. Remember this one? Breaker one nine. This here's a rubber duck. You got a copy on me, Big Ben? Come on. Come on, Big Buddy. 
I loved this song growing up. There, there was a movie with, uh, what was his name? Chris Christopherson. Dude, when I was like seven, I, I, I was like, I thought I'd be, you know, I said, no, I'm going to be a truck driver. Now, with the song you're thinking of, Frank, the song you're thinking of is this one. Smokey the Bandit. Oh, yeah. And it was a snowman was his Whatever name. Whatever happened Jerry to Jerry Reed. Know. He died. I know. Yeah. All the, all the. Yeah. Great song. Right. So, we, you know, we might as well just tell the people that. Why it, not? It, it's not, you know, I did a little tagline on Twitter. I don't right. know if it's going right. to work, but we said, two flywheels in a microphone. <laughs> two flywheels in the microphone. So, what it is, so folks don't think, especially YouTube, if you haven't just shut us off already. Uh, they would never do. We such a should thing. introduce the topic, man. And since you mentioned some good it's, traveling, it's road trip songs. Road trip. Well, we're gonna cover some road trip snippety snappity songs, and we want you to call in with yours. Now, I'd listen, love to hear your what story. What song do you when you get out on the open road and you're going to L.A. or going to Vegas or you're going to Texas or New Mexico or Flagstaff? What song do you like to turn up and jam? All right, four eight zero six five five eighty eight seven zero. 480-655-8870. We'll give you a prize if you call in with yours. All right? That's right. Simple. Yep. We want to hear your story. All we don't care how crazy it is if you were in Death Valley riding a bicycle and had headset on with music. And we you can know. text it too to 480-655-8870. That's I'm going right. to start with our first one as we go to break. Yeah. This is a, a group called Autograph from the 80s. Oh, yeah. I always like the songs that have the yeah. intros that just build up. Because I, I get going you know, from a complete stop. I step on the gas and take off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then you got to turn up that radio. That's it. Yeah. Right. What's your favorite road tripping song? 480-655-8870. Call us now on the Pulse. Wrench Nation Car Talk on 88.7 The Pulse. Call or text your questions now. 480-655-8870. With your hosts, Frank and Steve. All right, we're talking road trip songs right now. 480-655-8870. What's your favorite song to play when you're out on a road trip? Either on, if you know, if you're on Sirius XM and you're listening to satellite radio or if you got Pandora on, it's choosing for you. But what's the iPod song or the CD song? That has always psyched you up when you hit the road. Call us right now. We got prizes for you. I think, what do we got? What do we got? We got we got all kinds of stuff. I know we got a Domino's gift card yet. 480-655-8870. We got DVDs. We got all kinds of stuff. Call us with that. Frank, here's a couple of yours that you uh, you sent me and said, prepare them. There's one. There you go. Yeah. I love that. And, of course, Cars, the movie. Yeah. They had a version of that. All right. That's How about this right. one, Frank? Oh, yeah. The 70s. Are you kidding me? Early 70s. Yeah. How about this one? Oh, yeah. I love this one. This is just a Mustang chill. Mustang Salad. This is after you had the cheeseburger. You stopped. <laughs> you stopped. Mustang you stopped salad. by. And I had a cheeseburger. Oh, now you yeah. got this one, too? Oh, yeah. Ray Charles. Ah, I kick everybody out of the oh, car. Oh, yeah. Well, I, this, get out of my car. Because I'm driving all the way down by myself. You know, another one is Jumping Jack Flash. Get some gas, gas, gas. Yeah, I can't believe you picked this one. Yeah, it's a little laid back. You got a fast This is something car. like this is my karaoke song. I can do chair. I can do Terry Chapman. Yeah. You got a fast car. But you know now, if you got teenagers, if you got teenagers, every single one of those songs would have been a fail. Oh, absolutely. They'd be like, let's hear Fetty Wap and I mean, Drake. I, well, I, I <laughs> but see, that's the magic of today. I, I hate it. It's not magic. Well, it's horrible. Dr. Dre's timeless. Okay. We Dr. Could, Dre's, I don't have that clean version of that song. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's so hard to find. I was find looking. <laughs> Dr. Dre clean. But there you have it. There's a few of those songs. Oh, here's you, somebody on the phone, too, I think. Right, you got somebody on the phone, Bree? I don't know. She's, she's still talking to him. So the thing about it is uh, everybody gets into that mental situation. Yep. Now, if you're, if you're driving... I'll tell you what, it changes things. Your mood changes for sure. If you're driving to a family reunion where you haven't seen that individual that you really don't want to see in many years, maybe they're the Facebook family kind right. of thing. The music changes. <laughs> it does. I think you're right. I'm playing pissed off music. <laughs> uh, which is I'm everything. playing Christopher Cross. <laughs> no, that is not for damn no, paradise. No, no, no. At least I, it's not for me. I'm, I think I think I'm playing some angry music. <laughs> or perhaps you've got the kids in the back. Uh-huh. Now teeny tiny kids. And you got Barney on. Well, I don't Barney, 
I don't. Barney's not good anymore. Not man. anymore. No. Not anymore. No. I don't know. Actually, I just don't know. I don't think kids are watching TV anymore. I think they're all on YouTube. Well, you know, <laughs> but that's the thing, though. But whatever you got in your car and you're listening to, your kids got their own iPods or their phones or whatever. Yeah. So they're listening to what they want to anyway. So you that's just got to right. turn up what you love. That's right. You know, and, and you know, how old are your kids? Well, I have a seven-year-old. Okay. Oh, okay. So how about the, do you ever run the DVD while while I, you're driving? She wears a headset. Yeah, exactly. I, I We break all rules, man. Exactly. You, I don't know. I mean, I do, you know, once in a while we check it. But listen, we can't go any further Without testing you, man. We have somebody on the phone. Well, who do Hold we on, have? Hold on, wait for the test. Jerry's on the phone. Hello, Jerry. Jerry, Jerry. Hello, hello. Do you hello. have a road tripping song? Yes, I do. What song would that be? It would be Iron Maiden. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, Jerry, let it out, baby. Oh, my Hold goodness. Hold on, see if I got that one in here. Oh, and they're still touring. I got it. Are there, aren't they still touring? Yeah, Jerry, they are. Yeah, they yeah. are. You got to give props to Iron Maiden. Hey, hold on. Oh, hold on. Yeah. There it is. There it is right there. Oh, it's got that nice intro. Oh, yeah. You get that car revved up. The That's engine it. going. Right oh. there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm driving Very right Very nice, now. Jerry. Where are you calling from, Jerry? Actually, I'm at the Apache Junction High School right now because I'm going to be doing the graduation here. i got to get in a golf cart and cruise around. What, you are, know, what, what are you yeah. doing at the graduation? Well, we do like, uh, oh, I hear my song right now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I, yeah, because well, you got it on delay. <laughs> no, he's turning it up, jamming it. I and, know the damn. Anyway, uh, no, I, we uh, I, we work at you know kind of do security, but the uh, handicapped people need you know like a ride to sure. the uh, the keys. Um, Very cool. You Very need an cool. escort. You're escorting, but listen. So you give them a ride. Yeah, well, crank it up, man. I think everybody that may you know be on crutches or if they're slightly handicapped, no one can deny Iron Maiden. I got gout. You got gout. <laughs> I mean, there I can you use go. a ride to the, my car. Jerry, thanks for listening, Thank man. We you, appreciate Jerry, it. All right, you rock. Thank you. you. Hold on a second. Bree's going to talk to you and get you a prize. All right, you got a quiz for me. I Any, do. Well, we hold on. To... Anybody else who's got a song for Road Trip, call us now, 480 655 8870, or text us. We want to get you on the air. All right, quiz. Well, we need the quiz music. Okay, quiz music. We're going to line this up now. I got to get the Jeopardy. And the thing about it is, uh, we try to periodically test your knowledge. This is show 16. Yep. You've come a long way. I have. Although this is really not a mechanical test. This is a test to decide and try to figure out what type of car are you. Okay, let's figure it out. Now, the first question is, what is your element? Are you earth, fire, water, or air? Oh, boy. I'm hot air. I'm air. You're air? Yep. You're hot air? Come on, man. All right, so listen. How do you spend your free time? You go to the gym? No. No. A nice long hike? <laughs> no. Do you like to read a book? No. You like to take care of animals? Yes. You like to sleep? Yes. Work, work, work? Work, work, work. So take care of animals or reading a book? Which one? Yes, I was to take care of my animals. I like, know you My puzzuppies. I'm the same way. Yep. Now, oh God, this is crazy. Do you like Friends? Yes. Do I have. I, a, do I, I like Friends, the TV show? No, no. Here it is. Do you like? Do you like Friends? I'll give you the answers. Okay. Yes. I have a few, but I prefer to, prefer to be alone. Uh huh. I love them. Okay. That's the three answers. Do you like friends? I have a few, but I prefer to be alone. All right. There yep. you go. Yep. Use one word to describe yourself. Are you hot-headed? Uh-huh. Cold, fun Hot-headed, hot-headed is not one word. Uh, it's two. <laughs> it's internet. It's, <laughs> a, right. it's a freaking internet. All right. Use one phrase. All right. Go ahead. Hot-headed? Are you, are you calm? Uh, no. Are you adventurous? No. Are you really creative? Yes. Ah, let's click on creative. We shouldn't have too many more to figure out. Big question here. All right. Big question. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Um. Well, I'm glad to be one of those verts, but I'm an extrovert. All right. That's good to know. I figured you would be. Yep. Now, I think that this test here as we go along, uh, one of the questions they ask is, why would you even take this quiz? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, here's the answer. Yes. I love cars. Uh-huh. It's fun. Okay. I don't know. It's a waste of my damn time. I take that answer. <laughs> all right. So let's see what the formulations. Yes. Of course, this is playbuzz.com. We can get all kinds of formulations. Oh, my goodness. Steve. What am I? You are a Mercedes SLS. Ooh. Dude, no, 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 man. This is like yes. the, with the gold wings. Okay. Get, this is a, yeah, it says that you have a thick shell. And you only reveal yourself to friends you know and trust. I'm a Mercedes? You're, dude, here. So I don't. Great social and political. I got a song for that. Yeah, you Mercedes-looking. Like it's Janis Joplin. 
Oh, yeah. That's Remember this another. One? Oh, kidding me? Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Don't you buy me, buy me a Mercedes Benz. Oh. Enough of that. Man, if she was still around, man. <laughs> If she was still around. Oh, uh, I'm a Mercedes Benz. All right, we got another caller on the phone. All right, what is it? All right, uh, we've got Brandon on the phone. Hi, Brandon. What is What's happening? Up, hey, how's it going, man? Man, just living my best life, brother. Hey, what is your uh, what is your car or what is your car song? Man, it's got a Catman Jack or Catman Do. By uh Bob Seeger? Oh, I don't know. They oh, I think so it is. Of it. No, yeah. I think it is down in Catman Do. Hold on a second. Let me get, oh, it, let me get it on boy. the YouTube here. Oh, brother, Frank, here talk to Brandon for a second. Brandon, now, yeah. this song puts you in a certain type of mood. Now, when you road trip with this this badass song, what are you <laughs> thinking, man? Are you, are you just like, fly by the wind? I'm done with work and everything. I mean, what's your thought? What's oh, your there's mood? A there's a, go ahead. My thought is, man, my life is too good to even believe. Wow. Nice. All right, is this it? That's really, really oh, yeah. That's to. it. <laughs> if I ever get out of it's Bob Seger's version. Yeah. yeah. Cat, Cat Stevens does it, too. That's it right oh, yeah. there, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great and, song. And, you know, that's a great family song because the kids, I think the kid, this is universal. Kids, kids will get go, into oh, this. kitty cats. Kitty cats. What they do with them? What they do with them? All right, Brandon. All hey, right. where are you calling from? What part of the valley? I'm in Gilbert. Oh, yeah. this is Brandon. He's a life coach. Not, yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. This is Brandon, the life coach. Cool. He's, he's cool. hoping to try to coach my life. Oh, yeah. You're coaching me somewhat. I need well, all the help Brandon, I Brandon, we have a question for you. Based <laughs> upon the quiz that he took today, uh, uh-huh. the type of car that he would be is a Mercedes SLS. Uh-huh. You know, that's the one with the gold wings. Yeah. Is, is yeah, he's crude or what? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I tell you what, that ain't a bad ride. No, that's not it's a bad not. ride, no. Yeah. That's for sure. I don't know if that's me, though. I don't know. No, I, I don't think myself. so either. No, no. Yeah, no all right, see you later, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Thanks for right, calling. Take care, Bye. Brandon. All right, 480-655-8870. What is your road trip song? All right, Frank, what else we got going on? Well, I tell you, we, we talk about road tripping yep. songs, but, you know, there's a serious side to things. Um, a lot of folks are going to go in, and, and I got to tell you, just getting an oil change is not preparing you for a road trip. No. So I got a couple things. Oh, and, some and, things that you need to well, do we're gonna do a little before tip. you go on a road yeah, trip. listen. The worst thing you can do, unless you drive a vehicle, even if you drive actually a low mileage vehicle, okay, is to actually take it in like the day of. That's really, I'm leaving in two hours. You guys get me in for an oil change? Right. I mean, you get your oil change done, but you don't give enough time to check the vehicle out. My mom goes crazy with the oil changes on the road trips. Well. It's like, we'll get one before we go. My brother will change the oil before we go, right? That's he right. He does it for her. Right. And then we'll be on the road and we'll go, I don't know, 1,900 miles. And she'll like, go get an oil change. Right in the, oh. That's it's, like, a little, it's a little soon. Wow. But one so, thing she does. She, yeah, she's yeah. brushing her teeth yeah. four times a day. <laughs> That's her, yeah. Yeah. So Better safe than sorry, I guess. I'm just saying, people, if you guys are listening out there, today is Wednesday. Perhaps a lot of you are going to book out of town Friday evening. Don't wait till Friday afternoon. Right. Number one, a lot of garages are going to be they're, It's going to be tough. Sure. What kind of flashlight check are you going to get? Are they really going to tell you about your tires? That's true. Number two, I got something here, Steve. You know, I okay. try to bring in tools every day and for oh, our YouTube people. Oh, a memory hanging. saver. This is a problem. How many of you guys listening out there huh? have memory actually saver. had a garage replace your battery and then you lost all of your FM, a- well, I don't know about AM. Oh, yeah. You, you lost lose your all presets. your presets. And in a lot of occasions... If you just bought that car, sure. you're locked out. It's a security. And the Somebody other problem older. is the clock resets. It's a pain in the and I cannot yeah. reset my clock right. on my drive. So it's Can't a waste it. of time. So I got this here. This is a memory saver. So I'm just telling everybody when you go in, whether it be, you know, I'm not recommending a quick drive through loop shop. People slow it down. But bottom line is if you're going to get your battery replaced, it's a memory saver. The technician, the mechanic, the garage. Remember, hug a mechanic. They're going to hook up this memory saver yeah. into the data link connector. And what this is going to do, it's like surgery. This is amazing. I never knew this existed. Our garage has two. Wow. And every time we do a battery, what we're doing is we're just leaving at least five volts hanging out while we change out our little 12-volt battery. Put the battery back in, wow. and it's a memory saver. So, How long has this thing been around? Well, it's been around several years. Yeah. Not a lot of garages have it. No. I'm just saying to our listeners, if you're going to get a battery done, a lot of you may get a yeah. battery before yeah. you head out of town. Your battery's two, three years old. You may say, eh, let's change it, make sure right. we're good. Right, right. Memory saver. Hey, guys, can you make sure that you utilize that memory saver? And this is a big daddy. This is a big one. You can actually just get a little. Some, some mechanics have a little 9 volt. They plug it in, and, and it's good. Right. But this actually saves. This is, you know, for some of the newer, newer vehicles, that little 9 volt battery sure. saver is not going to work. This actually will 
We'll keep the computer. That's incredible. For, Never yeah. knew that it existed. It's Never a tip. Know. Every week we bring in some good stuff from the The other garage. thing is, as you mentioned, before you go on a road trip, tires. Yeah. My mom always freaks out about the tires, too. Tires are important. Yeah. Um, Especially yeah. if you're getting out on the open road. Absolutely. So maybe check the alignment. These are little things, little little teeth cleaning minor well, stuff. Well, you know, yeah. you want to make sure the tires are, are riding right because, one, you could damage your tires. Yeah. If you're going for a long drive. And otherwise, it gas gas mileage. And the other thing, too, we talk tires. Make sure you check the lonely spare, the spare tire. Yeah, that's right. Because People nobody forget. ever, I forget about I, it. I mean, like, it, oh, I, I don't st- even know where mine is. <laughs> I still got one. You know what sucks, though, for the new cars? I call AAA. They come they're, and get it. They're not including spare tires anymore. Yeah, we should get AAA on here. They should be our sponsor. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Well, do we have heaven music someday? <laughs> Not quite. We have more Not road. Quite. We have more road trip music. Yeah, we do. All Let's right, get we're back. To, to we're gonna go music. into our next segment here on uh, eighty-eight seven. The Pulse. It's Wrench Nation. Four eight zero six five five eighty-eight seven zero. What is your road trip song? This song is a road trip song. Oh, by far. You remember all the lyrics? It's all about taking a road trip. I don't remember. Sausalito summer night. Oh man, you're going back. Listen for it's seventies. Yeah, nineteen eighty. The group is called Diesel. Ah. And they they're going for a road trip in the Rambler. And it breaks down. <laughs> the Rambler? Yes. Oh, my I, goodness. Wait a second. Oh. I got another one. We'll talk about the next on 88.7 The Pulse. Red Nation continues. Pulse. All right. You know, it's a holiday weekend. You're getting ready to take a road trip. A lot of people are. Millions across the country. And by the way, this is the lowest price gas has been in 10 years on the Memorial Day holiday weekend. I'm saying get your big block yep. Chevy Blow it and burn it. Let's get crude oil giddy up in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's never been this yeah. deep, man. Let's get it going. All right. Pat's on the phone. Hello, Pat. You have a a uh, road song? Well, I'm going to show my age a little bit. But, right. man, Born to be Wild. Oh, oh yeah. Hang on a second. Hang on. Pat, yeah. Right there. That's what we're talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. Steppenwolf. Yeah. 1967. You bet. You know, you ever ride a motorcycle there, Pat? Yeah, I ride motorcycles, and I do old Mustangs these days. Oh, yeah, you got to have the old born to be wild when you're cruising out on the bike, man. Thanks for calling. We appreciate it. Where are you calling from? From Gilbert. All right. Thanks for listening, Pat. Have a great day. And there's so Thank much, so many, yeah. There's so many songs. There are so many songs. I mean, bad to the bone. You know, we open up the uh, You know, one year, me and my friends went to Vegas years ago, and we were listening to the High School Musical soundtrack. Oh, <laughs> that was... <laughs> No, oh, I still, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. oh, Wade from the Orient. Oh, my goodness. We got, who is this? Is this Hong Kong Craig calling from China? This is, this, this is me, live in the flesh. It's raining here. Oh, whoa. Wow, it's not raining here, but we, we it's cooler than it normally is here. It you is. ever been to Phoenix, Hong Kong, Greg? Oh, yeah. What's you say? Are you from Phoenix? Oh, you are. You're from the <laughs> yeah, valley. I'm okay. From- I yeah, think. yeah, I'm I'm from the yeah. I was uh, in Chandler and Scottsdale, right. and now I'm uh, now 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 I'm an expat in China. All right. Well, Hong Kong, Greg. Um, we are so appreciate having you. Sometimes we we don't. I mean, even with technology, we don't connect. But that's okay. We missed you last yeah. week. So we're talking road trips, and we we know that the car culture in China is sort of steadily growing. And and you've been sending me some pretty cool pictures of all kinds of stuff. But it seems like if you're going to road trip in China, you get on one of those buses packed with people. Is that the case? Well, there's a, you, you know, to have a road trip, you have to have an interstate highway system. And China <laughs> doesn't no, have that. No. What, China doesn't. What, yeah. Yeah. Well, what they have is uh, what they've invested in is high speed trains. So there's high speed oh. trains every, every place. I see. And they're wonderful. You get, you get on the train. They're smooth. They got great seats. They serve you food, and you, you know, go to your destination. But um, nobody wants to work know, like that. Who wants to work and drive four hundred miles to the beach and just get on a train and everybody does everything for you? And it's probably inexpensive. Well, yeah, but you know, see, you know, cars in China are relatively pretty new. You know, the the, the general cars for people. You know, the mid nineteen nineties to two thousand when people started to buy cars. So. You know, there isn't the interstate highway system. Gotcha. So, you know, gotcha. so then China, since they're not enamored with the car because it hasn't been part of their history for 5,000 years. Right. You know, yeah. They, de- the, the, yeah, they decide to go for the high-speed train, and they're great and they're everywhere, except 
the problem is when you when you go to the train station, there's 10 million freaking people waiting to get on the train. Right. So, hey, you're you know, like, gee, I wish I had a car. That's, that's China. You can't go anywhere without, you know. Do they have yeah. places like Hertz Rent-A-Car and Budget Rent-A-Car and stuff in China? Yeah, well, at the airports, you could rent cars. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the airports, you, you could rent cars. And, uh, you know, I don't want to drive here because there are no driving rules. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's dangerous. Wow. So, Greg, you're saying no, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. They don't. Well, it's not dangerous if if you were brought up in oh, China driving because there 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 is no right of way. Wow. Do there they? There is no. You do whatever you want to do. You turn when you want to turn. Are stop there traffic lights? Turn. No, man. This is China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, well, they nobody do, well, They do obey the. Tra- yeah. Well, they do obey the traffic okay. lights. Other than that, it's like the Wild West. You do what you want to do. Well, I have an idea. So, I mean, coming from. I have an idea. Yeah. What, what is- Hong Kong, Greg, we need to open up a Chinese version of the Bondurant School of Driving. <laughs> yeah. I say we. I met Bob. You met him, too, the other day, or yeah. a couple months ago. That's right. And I think if we brought Mr. Bondurant down, we could start, like, we start basic. We start in go-karts in China. We just started go-karts. And then from go-karts. Well, they, well, they have the go-kart. They, they, they have some super indoor go-kart tracks. Bro, bro, yeah. Well, we Maybe. do too now. Are you trying to compare the go? Hey, we got we go to Octane Raceway. And- yeah, we just <laughs> this. You can't. No, comp- no. I'm just saying is that they have them here and the people love them. You know. Yeah. But no. no and, but you know, you know, the, the driving system in China works for them because they don't know anything else. Right. But, right. You know, for a foreigner coming here. Foreigner coming here and driving, I don't think I'd last a couple blocks because it'd be dangerous. You just you, you, sounds like it. it. It's just a different way to drive. It is. Just a different way to, now listen, we tried to cover but, this. You know, we, and, and, we, yeah, we tried to reach you a couple shows ago, and the thing is, Greg, we uh, we understood that there were some news reports out of China that the insurance system, the you know, if your vehicle has insurance, is not quite the same as it is here. And in other words, this report, there were several reports stating that if you were hit by a vehicle, there's a good chance that the person that hit you may just try to finish you off and kill you because I guess they don't settle with insurance. They do a little on the street deal and some people just don't want to pay you. So they, you know, <coughs> you're done. Wow. No, this, that story's out. Of, and I know it's not probably well, rampant. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know about the insurance, but I'll ask my wife's son and I could find out. Yeah. But you know, there, surprisingly, there are very few fender benders. You know I mean? I, I go it, around it works. The town all the time. I'm in a magical buses, way. And there's very, yeah, there's very, very few fender benders. You know? right. do, do you have to be and really? What they, what, do you have to be real rich in order to own a car there? No, 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 no. People, you know, there there are Chinese brands of cars okay. that cost that cost um, oh. You know, six to seven thousand wow. dollars American. Right, you've got yeah. Geely. Geely's a big one. You've got uh, well, yeah, 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 but yeah. There's there's many many Chinese cars, but right. li- like I told you, there are like MG sales cars here. Uh huh. MG, Popular. if you could imagine, British. there's MGs. There's well, there's Peugeots and Citrons and yeah. Fiat. Well, and this is this is just yeah, a bunch of us uh, ignorant uh, folks from Phoenix here looking at China. I, I will say on our Twitter <laughs> channel, we've <laughs> we've had a lot of. Uh, We've actually got a lot of folks out of uh, Asia, not just China, but the Philippines. And there's a whole culture, yeah. man. And it seems like, you know what? The minute you start driving, they all want to drift. Drifting, drifting's got to be big in China. Drifting. No, you know, no? well, there's one thing in China is there are no gangs or gangbangers here. And there's no graffiti. Yeah, they're all in the very... government. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, no it's, ve- it's very, very civilized. It is. Yeah, and I say that, you know. Carefully. All it's, right, Hawk. I mean, uh, it, it is very, your your phone yeah, is tapped. Very, I hope it's and, not tapped. Yeah, and but you know we were going to talk about pollution once, and pollution is a big deal. It right. is, yeah. And oh, Hong Kong, and, Greg. And, well, there's we good we luck, buddy. You know what we've hey, got go we've got to kind of wrap it up, but hold on to the pollution. 
Because uh, Hong Kong Greg did send yeah. me uh, some pictures. It's pretty wild. The coal is everywhere. Everyone wow. burns coal for wow. heat, for food. Hong Kong Greg, we're going to catch you next week. We are going to hook up with you. But before you go, Hong Kong Greg, what is your driving song? Uh... Sammy, Sammy Hager, I Can't Drive 55. Oh, nice. yeah. That's the one we're going to take it into the break, Hong Kong Greg, okay? Thank you, Hong Kong Greg. Okay. You rock. We should say sayonara. Thank Is that Japanese? That's Japanese. What's you, Chinese when you Chinese, say goodbye? I, I don't know. I don't know. Someone call us. Let us know. Yeah. 480 What do you say when you say goodbye in Chinese, all right? <laughs> we'll be back with the more Wrench Nation next on The Bulls. Oh, yeah, we're driving you home, Frank and Steve. It's Wrench Nation, 480-655-8870. By the way, if you have any questions about anything happening to your car right now, feel free to call us because that's why we're here. We're here. If you got any uh, car care conundrums, want to know about your brakes, maybe the AC is not working right. And you can always reach out to Frank on Facebook, too, at Wrench Nation, okay, or Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. at Wrench Nation, and he'll help you all that he can. All right, so we always bring in, oh, well, not to mention the Wrench Nation T-shirt. First off, we want to thank a bunch of you. You guys got on Facebook. You got on Twitter. Love these shirts. And you request, these shirts are free, and they're Wrench Nation. These are imported from Sweden by Inga Sweden Horden. And, of course, we got the Pulse, <laughs> 88.7. They're made in Tempe. Why are you I lying? I know. Well, <laughs> from, from Ken. I can. Ken. Ken and you, George. Ken. Yeah. Well, Ken's Swedish. Ken's awesome. Yeah, he's a good man. Yeah. So it's really simple. We're not selling anything here. Just if you want a T-shirt, man, we're giving them out. Yeah. That's all you got to do. We'll give you a out. T-shirt. That's it. Real simple. There T-shirts you go. we're giving. French Nation T-shirt. And, and we can't forget, we didn't say goodbye to uh, Hong Kong Greg in the last segment. The way you say goodbye in China is Zhen. Okay, I've got Mary on the phone. She's Mary. calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Hold on a second. Bree, put her on hold so I can talk to her. All right, because I want, I, we got to get to our other guest today. We do. And Mary, I want to get to Mary first. Thanks for your patience. You know, this is a uh, brand new show, Sweet uh, 16, of course. You we, know, we always we always have Greg Buckley on. Uh, we and do. he's from where? Delaware. He's from Delaware. We were looking for some music for him. Let's bring him in. Greg, are you there? I am here, guys. Well, all right. Greg, we're trying to find well, some music for, to be your theme song. And let me okay. ask you a question, okay? What is Delaware known for? George Thorogood and the Delaware Destroyers. Ah, George Thorogood. Okay, bad to the bone. Right. We're not going to give you that one. We're not. That's the easy one. one. Yeah, that's the, what else? One shot, one bourbon, one beer. Okay, that, right. we're not going to give you that one. No more no. Delaware <laughs> Thorogood. How about the Blue Hen? Oh, the blue hen, yeah, that's our state bird. Okay, so that's right. a state bird, so we have a song for you. Check it out. We need your approval. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is your new theme song, Greg Buckley. He's Big- on the phone. He's calling from where? where? Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> that's your song right there, little Glenn Miller chicken music. I like that song for Greg. <laughs> hey, Greg, what, what's your road tripping song? Oh, man, I'll tell you, I like... Uh, have love will travel. All right, Sonics. Oh, oh yeah. the Sonics. That's Great. on the That's list. One of them. Yep. Yeah. And then the other one, uh, more probably more popular, would be uh, would be Zeppelin's "Trampled Underfoot." Oh yeah, great song. I'm not familiar with that. Yeah. Great song. Great song. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all good stuff, man. There's a bunch of them. I, I, you know, all the way to Memphis. Sure. Rambling Man. By oh the yeah. Brothers. Yep. Trucking by the Grateful Dead. Ooh, hold, I got that right here. Hold on. Oh, that sounds. Tr- Grateful, truck anything in. Grateful Dead, man. You play that, you and you're, you know. There's a little trucking right there. Oh, yeah. Trucking. Perfect. Uh, one thing about Grateful Perfect. Dead is all their songs were two and a half hours long. So wherever you were driving, you could just put on one song and it pretty much get you there. <laughs> That's right. For the most part. For the most part. You know, but we can't forget about something. We're talking about all the radio and the music. What about the movies, people? You may have oh, the... Oh, man. Hey, oh, Yeah. yeah. Now, we all know one of my favorites. Yes. And we're going back to the raw steel of the desert. Mad okay. Max. Oh, Mad yeah, Mad Max. Max. Yeah, and they redid that last year. It was oh, a big hit. Yeah. Well, yeah, was it? it? I, yes. I don't know. I like the original. Yeah. What do you think, Greg? Mel Gibson, he was a nobody. He did the Mad Max. He became famous. Oh, for sure. Man, yeah. Max was awesome. Yes. Now, my favorite yeah. is one that is, is Vacation. Because Chevy Chase. That's a classic. Okay. And then I even like the new one. Did you see the new one? I have not. You need to see some of the new movies. I don't want. I, <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. If it's the reason. You know, you had a little oh, holiday yeah. road right there. <laughs> Christy Brinkley. <laughs> oh, I mean, Christy Brinkley. She's oh. she's in that movie. Oh gosh, she's, she's in the still new hot. movie too. She's she is still hot. hot. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A little <laughs> holiday road. Yeah. So Greg, uh, Greg Buckley. Always a pleasure to have you on. And and if you folks don't Always know now, you guys. know Buckley's Car Care. We're talking rock stars out of Wilmington, Delaware. You know, on the serious note, Greg, we talked a few little. Don't wait to the last minute. I mean, at this point, if you're traveling this weekend, it may be close to the last minute. We talked about oh, tire yeah. tire preparation. Sure. Give us give us an idea. Rolling up into your garage, Greg, what would you <laughs> check to make sure that we are good to go? Well, see, if, you, if, if you're talking about the, uh, the the famous band of procrastinators, oh, yeah. that always, uh, you know, hit, hit, hit the shop door. Friday or the day of yep. the holiday or three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, um, you know, you're you're going to get. Kind it's of like tough. A, a, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah, it is tough. And, how about you know, they come we, in at? How about they come in at five thirty? You're closing at six. Oh no, man! This is, <laughs> dude. It's like walking in and having a guy. You want a guy to cook your eggs? Yes. Yeah. And yeah, and it yeah. and they close. Come on, dude. Any restaurant. I got a story about if that. If they close in five, if they close in five minutes, yes. I'm not sure where I'm wearing these black gloves. <laughs> I think I'm gonna fix something. Uh, if they close, you ain't locked the door. You ain't getting. I don't care. My wife does that crap all the time. Yeah. We go out to eat and we roll up and it's they got like ten minutes of grill left. Yes. And she's like, it needs to be perfect. I tell all the time. It's not Dude, gonna happen. Not gonna happen. It's gonna be raw. No, your steak <laughs> is jacked, the broccoli's is gonna be raw, everything's gonna be you just can't same thing with a garage. Right. Yeah. yeah. You and gotta, you know, and, and the sad part is most of the most of the people that do roll up at the last minute right. um, are usually not are not what you call a client. They're really not regular and, you know, they're looking for places to go in the last minute. Maybe they had a rush out. And, you know, you feel for them, but at the same time, well, you, yeah. you have a hard time obliging. It's them, tough. It's tough. I mean, I mean tough. Yeah. it really is. We want to accommodate, and we got a, same time. Yeah, we got a lot of younger listeners. Some of these folks are first time in their vehicles. Yeah. And we're just sending the message out. They may not even think about it this way. Right. Don't treat your car service like you would a drive through cheeseburger type thing, you know, Correct. because you got to slow it down, especially if you got an older vehicle and uh, give the mechanic some time. Let them tell you, you know what, we, we found a tire issue or you want to be prepared because guess what? You can't hug a mechanic if you broke down down in the middle of nowhere. And then you, you really wish you could be, hug a mechanic. You're going to be slapping you your wish mechanic. You shack up with them. <laughs> I don't know oh, about that. That's ah. if, you, if you needed a mechanic, you'd want to jack up with them. Yeah. So uh, we, we talked about we talked about uh, the spare tire. A lot of people mm-hmm. will come in and say, well, you know, I'm getting I'm getting uh, I'm getting a 500 mile trip in front of me. What about a tune up or. You know things like that. When I mean, when do you recommend a tune-up? Well, always recommend. Of course, you're going to have, you're going to have your fluids serviced if necessary, right? Uh, and, or or just the basic, you know, your, your basic services, your oil change. Um, secondly, tire condition, maybe tire rotation, brake inspection, right? Um, oh, brakes, know, yeah. Mile trip, yeah. or even you know, if you're going even a thousand miles or so. What about uh, the windshield gotta, wipers? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, the wipers, absolutely. You want to look yep. for tears. We'll make sure yeah. it's clean. You, you know, know uh, your washer fluid. Uh, yep. If you're driving in the summertime, or if it's even wintertime, you want to make sure that you have enough. Uh, the, the the ratio of the icer is good. You know, it, it's strong enough. The strength of the solution is good enough to keep the ice away. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, other things you want to pack. Always recommend a flashlight. Yeah. Uh, and and you know, it, it, it's weird, but I even say a blanket. You know, uh, oh, yeah. just in case accidents, shock can happen. You know, you yeah. got you got elements that you want to. You want to think of a first aid kit, absolutely. Right. Something with some band aids, maybe a little alcohol swab, anything of that. Lots anything of water, to... yeah, especially out oh, here. Yeah, 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 definitely. You know, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. drinkable water and actually potable water too. You know, you don't want to forget about your car. Yep. Uh, if something should happen where you do have an overheat, yep. you know, right. a gallon of coolant. Yeah. You know, uh, something to, to keep it rolling to get you out of harm's way, and right. most importantly, make sure that your all of your uh, devices, uh, cell phones, and all that are charged. Yeah. And the biggest thing that I always recommend, and I even put out my newsletter before you hit the road, do yourself a favor: get a good night's sleep. Yeah, uh, absolutely, sure so fresh. important. Yeah, make sure so you're important. fresh for the road and that you are awake, aware. Please don't go out and party it up the night before. No, even though you're not partying, then you know you're still tired. Um, mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it's so important to be fresh 
on that road you know, and be that's, alert and be aware. When I take my road trips across country with mom, we'll, we'll go you know, 11 hours for a day. We'll stop a lot. We'll walk around every yeah. hour, hour and a half, keep ourselves our blood flowing a little bit because sitting in that car can get really tired. It seems like the second day is always the hardest. Yeah. And, and my yeah, theory well, – you... go ahead. Okay. Well, if you, if you keep your pace, like you said, uh, well, my wife and I, when we travel, and next week we're taking the kids – and we're packing up the, the Wally World, <laughs> and we're going to Boston. Man. Okay, well, all right, nice. Town. There you go. So you know, and we warn the kids. My wife and I, we love to travel by car. We absolutely think it's the I best way to vacation. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And we will stop every other hour. Yep. Every two hours. Yeah. Because Enjoy we're it. And yeah. we want to eat that cheeseburger from that road stand. Right? That's that's what I'm saying. I think yep. I think by design. We want to take it all in. Yeah, you. It, it's tough because you load up on the carbs and you get a little sleepy. So I'm sure you and the wife take little shifts, a little couple hours here and there, back and forth. You take it easy, share the driving. Oh. One one other thing, real quick though. The thing about it is, when you're when you're driving, you may go. Let's say you're checking your car out. Right. And your car's got some miles. Right. And the mechanic says, oh, you need whatever, thousands of dollars. Rent a car, right. man. You better Don't off. Ruin, rent just rent a car. Don't, Don't be bashful. It's, yeah. it's practical. It'll work. And it is good. Yep. You're better off. Absolutely. And, Greg, we yep. got to turn this into a two-hour show because, man, we run out of time. Yeah, matter of so fact, fast. we're, at the, top, know, we're at the top of the hour, and we're still got a call we're going to take yet. <laughs> All right, we'll go for it, brothers. You Thanks, Greg. We'll talk to you next time. Great seeing you, partner. Ho- happy holidays. Happy you holiday remember, weekend to you, too. Remember, it's Memorial Day. Please remember and thank your veterans. That's right. Thank, thank you very, very much, good Greg. Point. Yeah, very and good remember point. those who served and have passed on. Yes, so. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Greg. In honor. Thanks, guys. Have a thank great you, weekend. Take All care. right, Mary's on the phone from Atlanta. Do you know Mary? Mary from Atlanta. I know where Atlanta's yeah. at, Mary. <laughs> you kind of know Mary from Atlanta. Yeah, I do. Mistress? Yo, do I, I gotta. No, I think oh. Mary, Mary's family up in here. Oh. Mary, are you Mary's family uh, up in here? Yes, I'm. I'm cheating. I'm. I'm in Atlanta right now, but I'm actually living in uh, New Jersey right now. Oh. All, right. All right. So, hey, Mary, what's your favorite road song? Oh, Willie Nelson on the road again. Oh, oh got that yeah. right here. Got that right oh, here. Oh, that's a classic. There, Mary. Oh, right there. Here comes. We're gonna kick that up. Nice. Just a little bit on the road oh, again. Yeah. You know what another movie of my favorite is a road tripping? RV with Robin Williams. Oh, yeah. Again. That's oh, a man, classic. This is great. I can just, just see Willie Nelson. Oh, yeah. Just just toking it up. Toking it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mary, what, what about a, a road trip movie? Do you have one of those? Oh, I don't have one of those. No. Well, Sorry. one of my, I'll tell but you, wait, Mary. Wait, wait, I've got the, uh, I don't know if anybody called in yet with your goodbye in Chinese. Oh, oh what, what is goodbye in Chinese? Yeah, Mary, tell I'll us. I'll probably butcher it because I am in no way, shape, or form Chinese. All but, right. Um, Tai Jian. No, Tai Jian. There it is. Tai Jian. There you go. Tai Jian. Tai Jian. Yeah. So Zai Hong Zai Kong Zai. Greg, if you're listening, put the egg rolls down because we just we just acknowledge <laughs> goodbye. We just acknowledge right. the goodbye. And Mary, it is so awesome to hear from you. You're out in Atlanta. You're out from Jersey now. I understand that Jersey, like New York, you guys you guys got the big old potholes, don't you? Oh, there's lots of potholes. Yeah. <laughs> potholes everywhere. We potholes. Don't, we, we just, you know, North Dakota, where I'm from, yeah. has a lot of potholes, too, but there's no people there to drive right. over them. But my, my step-grandpa always used to brag, <laughs> oh, we got a surplus in the budget in the state. My mom would say, why don't you fix your damn roads? Because they're yeah. the worst roads anywhere. Well, see, the thing is, no matter what you say as right. a driver, it's always going to be jacked. Right. There's always something wrong. And the other thing, too, it just seems like, they're always busting up the roads at the wrong time. Right. I'm late. I don't need this right now. Exactly. Don't bust up the roads, exactly. my goodness. So, All right, Mary. Mary, check out our Facebook. It's good to hang. We'll connect again, and we always appreciate Let Let the world know, Miss Mary, about Wrench Nation. We always appreciate the calls. All over the country, all over the world. We'd love to hear from you, okay? That's right. Thanks, Mary. Day. Thank you, Miss Mary. Take care. The Wrench Nation Wild oh. Wacky News on Wheels. All right, what do you got for us, Rick? Well, you've got a couple of situations. You know, we talked about the autonomous vehicle and all kinds of situations where, you know, if you're in an autonomous vehicle, one gentleman, his one son, gentleman what? Yeah. one gentleman was put, his son was in the vehicle. Okay. And... As a prank to his son. I thought this was kind of rotten, but it's all over the internet. 
He summoned the car while his son was just sitting in the vehicle. The car started driving by itself. And the son had no idea? The son had no idea. Oh, that's funny. That's, well, I you don't know. You think it's I, mean? No, it just depends on his demeanor. I mean, if he if he was, I don't know how old I'm the kid was. I'm a prankster, was, so I would mess with him. But he just did one of those. <laughs> he whistled for the car, and the and the son was in there, and he was like, uh-oh, this thing's He didn't know right, what to well, do. Where am I, what's going on? Why is the car right. moving? Is it is it possessed? It's that autopilot. Is it pilot. Christine? And it's Stephen an auto. King? I'm telling you, the autopilot function. You can see a lot more pranks coming along in the future with these autonomous yeah, you cars. Bet. You bet. But that's your little bit of titty, tiny, whiny auto. Weird news. All right, that's it for Wrench Nation this week. We'll see you next week. WrenchNation.tv on the web. Wrench Nation on Facebook. Wrench Nation on Twitter. Don't go anywhere, Frank. One second, I'm going to do this first. Live from the Thoroughbred Chevrolet Studios at the East Valley Institute of Technology. This is 887 The Pulse. KPNG, Chandler, and KVIT, Apache Junction, Goldfield, Ghost Town, Arizona. Streaming in apps at PulseRadio.fm. Everyone's listening to the Pulse. Right. Frank, you remember this song right here? Remember that one? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Take It on the Run, Ario Speedwagon? Yeah, great song. Yeah, Pitbull sampled it. Yeah, he did. Pitbull sampled it and made a new version of it. I love it, though. It's my favorite new great song. Great song. Are you ready for it? It's yeah. It's called Messing Around. Awesome. <laughs> Check that out right there. Hang on, listen. He's going to sing the hurting from a friend thing. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Here we go. Talk to him. Look at that, huh? I don't know if I like that version. <laughs> What's old is new again. Oh, my goodness. I know. Well, anyway, we want to thank all of our YouTube viewers. You guys rock, and thanks for listening to this edition of Wrench Nation. See you next Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday at 4 p.m. We'll see you guys. Bye. Be safe.